Hey everybody, what is going on? I hope you guys are all doing well and welcome to another tutorial video. In this video, I'll be explaining keyframes in ClipChamp to you, so let's get right into it. So in most editing software, keyframes are used to position your images or to move them around in a video, uh, pretty much just static images. Uh, if you change the position from them, the keyframes can change their position over time and it can create quite a smooth animation within your video. Now, sadly in ClipChamp, there is no keyframe functionality. However, you can do it manually and I'll be showing you how to do it like this. Firstly, let me just get this blue gradient. This is just a, a blue image. It's static. It isn't a video. However, you can play it just as you would any other video. And I'll be using this picture of a dog to actually show you how you can add keyframes. Now, as you can see, if I elongated completely to the entire screen, and let's say my dog image starts here if I play it and I put it there as you can see it goes and it stays in the same place if I move it here and move the dog over here if I play it it'll continue to stay in the same place but if I go way back to the beginning it'll be in that place as well so uh, we need a solution to make this image move around and the way you do this is by uh, well splitting the actual image you need to select the image in the timeline and then split it up into as small as a section as you can the smaller you go the smaller or the smoother your animation is going to be but for example let's say this and let me just undo this because for some reason my video or my whatever this is the image has been selected as well so let me just go through and snip this as much as I can without any well problems and for some reason it keeps just separating the video itself as well but that doesn't matter but yeah now as you can see i have several segments of the same image and if i put the marker at those segments and place them in different positions let's say that the starting position for that one is there go to this one move the marker and then move the image there and then go to this one move the image there and go to this one move the image anywhere i want and if now i play it from the beginning you will see the image will move around now as you can see it is way 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 too choppy and it is not a smooth animation at all so you will need to go into very very fine detail and you can zoom into the video like this and go really 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 into detail uh, you can go to fractions of a second however since this is a manual job it is very very tedious to make every frame different and i'll show you how precise you can be with it uh, if i separate it there and then separate it there nope separate it there uh, as you can see you do need to have at least the width of that slider there and if i go do that and then play the video like this and first let me just move the frames around just as a demonstration uh, if i move them around very slightly as you will start to see and of course if you want to keep the uh, original position from the previous frame you should change the position first and then split it up but that is up to you to see uh, and to experiment with and if I played it now as you can see it is a very quick but it is much smoother than it previously was and that is pretty much how you can use keyframes uh, as I've said it's better to use other software which actually has keyframe integration but with this it's enough that you can do a fine job in ClipChamp if you try hard enough but yeah that's pretty much it I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll be seeing you guys in another video